Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will work on the second design in this course. This is the design that we will be working on. So first we start by opening a new page with the same settings we used for the first design. These are the colors that we will use to create this logo. So first we select the rectangle tool and we draw a box in here. Then we select the rulers and in case you don't have the rulers, go to view rulers and make sure, sure to select show rulers from here. Since the rulers are activated, we have here hide rulers. Now we grab the rulers and we put the first one right here. Perfect. Then we change the color of the box. Here it is. We zoom in. Then we click on this dot right here, we drag it toward the inside to make the edges of the box rounded like this. But first I need to do something, sorry, I'm gonna rotate the box like this, perfect, like this. Then I'm gonna select or click on the dot and pull it toward the inside to make the edges of the box rounded like this. Now I select the pen tool. I put a dot in here, then the second one right here, I click and drag to make a wavy or a curly, uh, sorry, curvy line like this. Now we select the curvature tool to adjust what we just did with the pen tool. Like this. Perfect. Now we swap the fill with the stroke by clicking here. Then we change the color of the stroke to black. Here it is, we have here our wavy line or curvy. Now we duplicate it like this by holding the Alt button and dragging it like right here, like this. Perfect. Now we select the two lines like this then Control c and Control v to duplicate them like this. We rotate them like this and we put them exactly here. To make sure that they intersect in this point. Perfect. Now we're gonna delete the leftovers. Like this, we'll select the whole shape. Then we go to the Shape Builder tool. Then we click we hold the Alt button and we click on the leftovers that we want to delete, like this. We select the Shape Builder tool, we hold the Alt button, then we delete the leftovers and we're gonna delete these two right here, like this. To get this design like this, now we select the whole design. Then we remove the stroke, sorry I need to go back. Perfect. Now the stroke uh, is removed. Now right click, hide guides to remove this ruler like this. And now we change the colors of the design. We select this color, then the second one. We use the eyedropper tool to copy and paste the color. Again, same thing for the third color. Perfect. Now Control c Control v to duplicate this shape. We use the pen tool. We put a dot in here. And another one in here to make a line like this. We click Enter from the keyboard. Sorry, I need to go back. Now we swap the fill with the stroke like this. We make it in black. We select the shape and I swap the stroke like this, I make it in black again, then I use the pen tool to adjust the shape by making a dot in here and the next one right here I click and drag to make a curvy line like this. Now we select the whole shape like this, we use the shape builder tool, we hold the alt button and we delete this part right here. Then we drag this shape and we put it right here. Perfect. 
Now we change its color to, black, to white, like this. And we make it in gradient. We change the black color right here. I use the color picker. I make it slightly in orange. As you see, we have here a gradient color. I decrease the opacity, maybe to just 10%. And I make it like this. Perfect. Now we select the shape, I remove the stroke. And this is the look of our logo design so far. We select the whole shape, we put it right here. Then we can type any text right here or any slogan you want. It depends on the product or the company you're representing. We adjust the size of the text, then we, as I said, this is just an example. I'm gonna type energy or anything. As I said, it depends on what you are doing. Now I hold the shift button and I adjust the size of the text and I put it right here. And of course you can change the font if you want and even the color of the text. We select the text, you go here, and you select any font you want. For example, we go with this one. We put the text right here, and here we are. If you want to center the text, right click, select show guides, put the ruler right here, another one right here, and make sure that you center the text right here. Perfect. Now we hide the ruler and we hide the guides. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one to work on the next logo design.